Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use standardized source citation ratings in Family Tree Maker 2012. Now, there are a couple ways to get to these standardized source citation ratings. You can use the People workspace, like I have here, or the Sources workspace. Let's start with the Person workspace view. And you can see that we've got our list of facts here. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're in the people workspace and that you've got this person tab selected. And then you select the fact that you're going to uh, access the citation for. And so this birth fact here is the one I'm working with. And there's only one citation here. Uh, so I don't actually need to click on it. If there were more than one, though, um, and, it, and I was wanting to change one of the other ones, I would need to cl click it. So it's, it's best practice just to click it anyway, to select it. And then you can click this Rate Source Citation right here on that little star. Now within here, we've got a spot where we can click the number of stars we want to give this citation for this particular fact. And uh, we can choose anywhere from... Uh, not rated and uh, from one star to four stars. But there's also this checkbox, which I'm going to encourage you to use, which is labeled use standardized ratings. And if you check that, you get options for the quality measures. So the first one is for the source itself, whether it's original or a derivative. Now, in this case, I've got a death record. This is an actual image of the original death certificate. So I'm going to select original. And you can see that automatically gave it one star. And then the clarity of that information, the clarity of it, um, and the clarity of it with respect to this particular fact uh, was not good. I'm going to leave it marginal. There was, uh, it was hard to make out a couple of the numbers with respect to the birth information. And then as far as the information gleaned from that, so that source, whether it was primary or secondary. So this is birth information, and the informant in this case was uh, the person's husband, and so it was secondary information. And then the evidence is either direct or indirect, and in this case, it was direct evidence of the birth. It was birth information uh, regarding the birth, so I'm going to select direct, and you can see that overall it gave it two stars, and this information is not, will now be saved with that citation. If you need to clear all this stuff out, you can click Reset, and you can also cancel to get out of here. Down below, there's a box for justification if you want to uh, explain why you chose these particular settings. And uh, so we just need to click OK, and now this citation is using standardized source ratings. Now, one important point that I'll make here is that while the number of stars, the uh, this pure integer number of two would be stored uh, in a GEDCOM that's exported for this person, the actual standardized ratings information would not be stored. So you may want to keep that in some notes for that source citation. Now I told you that there was another place where you could change this and that was on the sources workspace. So let's click over there real quick and I just want to show you where it is. So I'm going to click sources and then you would need to find the source group that you're that you're dealing with. In this case, it happens to be the first one, the one that's selected. And then you would select the citation. In this case, you can see there's only one citation. If I were to click on one of these other ones, there are multiple uh, source citations within that source group. And so I'll go back here. That one's already selected. And then we need, just need to click the link for the information, the citation link that we're interested in. In this case, it was the birth. So we could also also get it here. We could click here and then click on the star and make those same settings there, uh, which we already made the other place. You can make them either place.